Hell, this has fucking just gone off. The point in the story in which this comes along is Jet. He's totally exasperated with life, feels the need to go out, kind of go on a wild, crazy night out where, yeah, I mean, basically does a shitload of MDMA and goes out and meets a girl that he really likes and unexpectedly meets someone that he has a genuine connection with. I'm not condoning you go out and that's how you meet people, but <laughs> it's definitely happened and I think a lot of people can relate to turning to you know intoxication as a means of silencing their problems for a night. And so, sorry, just checking this shit still. Yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of the lyrics basically sum up a night out, you know, this city's beating, this city's beating like a drum. You know, that kind of anticipation you get when you're on a night out or like when your night is just beginning kind of thing. It chronicles the kind of first time that you meet. So your eyes sunrise in the dark, gets me wild, sets me off, catch me, I'm falling. I'm falling pretty hard. I, I don't think there is like a hugely deep meaning in this. I think it really just is meant to give off an atmosphere of like a crazy night out. But I think the really cool part about this song is the ending in particular, like that outro vocal, I think is really cool. I think it's something different for Neck Deep. We haven't done these kind of things before. And um, yeah, the lyrics are, trust me, it's been a little slice of heaven. I hope we get together again. And then the next time we meet, I swear I won't be such a freak. We can do ordinary shit, take it easy. And that's him looking back on the night they've had, realizing that he's made this genuine connection with Alice and wants to continue that connection, but in a setting that's maybe a bit more real. <laughs> I think, you know, if you've ever been on a night out like that and you say you meet someone or you, you make a new friend or something, you're always like a little bit embarrassed about being kind of off your fucking head, basically. So, you know, you want to kind of rectify that with the next time. And so um, he's saying, you know, next time we meet, I won't be so fucking crazy and I'm sure, you know, you won't either and we can just chill and get to know each other.